It's the centerpiece of Lincoln, California, and it towers over Lincoln Boulevard. The rusty metal roof and disheveled walls give the appearance of an abandoned factory. But inside the aging structure, busy hands are working with an age-old material. The plant started back in 1875, so we're getting close to our 150 years. This is Luis Becerra, project manager for Gladding McBean, a company that makes a variety of clay products. But here, they specialize in terracotta. It does look and feels like stone, but it's easier to work with and we, we can replace it a lot easier than stone before. Terracotta is a millennia's old art form. It's made from fired clay, and it's often found on historic buildings. Uh, he's working on this ornament that go, is going into that a building in Chicago. It's actually the Flatiron Building. When the Flatiron Building in Chicago needed restoration, they called Gladding McBean. Machine can do it. Only human uh, fingers, only human hands can do it. Terracotta can rarely be repaired. It has to be replicated, then replaced. Every piece has like its own character, style, and um, techniques. To replicate detailed historic terracotta, Gladding McBean brought in Uzbekistan-educated artist Victor Veradad. Yeah, I use in, uh, simple tools like piece of wire, uh, bend it. Victor's favorite tool is not something mechanical, it's his fingers. I can make it smooth, I can make it rough, I can do everything with my hands. It takes a team of about 20 people to keep the terracotta portion of the factory running, and everyone here has their own skill. Yeah, we are what we call uh, model makers. Amaro Becerra was actually brought out of retirement to help with the recent increase of projects. His job is to make different patterns, like this one, that form the outside sides of a building. You, you can learn the basis, but every piece is different, so actually you never finish learning. Each piece of terracotta is made from its own individual mold. And each mold is made from plaster that's poured around the terracotta art. As you can see, mold making is a multi-step process that requires precise measurements because each piece has to fit perfectly. And it costs a lot of money to, to fix it once it's up and the work. It can take weeks for the clay to dry to a solid state, but then once it's dry, it's off to the kiln for firing. Well, these are decades old. Still the most efficient way to fire clay pipe or fire any ceramic material. Senior manager Joe Parker gives me an inside look at these massive gas fire kilns, which exceed temperatures of 2,000 degrees. So right, if we right, were right. to stand in here while it was 2,000 degrees, what would happen to us? We wouldn't exist. <laughs> Literally. I don't even know if you'd have ash left. Today, clay pipe is being loaded into the kiln, and once the temperature is brought up to about 2,000 degrees, the pipes will have to slowly cool down for about a month. So, you know, so these pipes are in for like a 28-day journey. 28, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Huh, why can't you just uh, throw some water on it? It wouldn't work, everything would explode. Oh. <laughs> Gladding McBean is one of the leading clay pipe makers in the United States, and the clay comes from the deposits right here in Lincoln. Cities from all over the nation use these clay pipes for their sewers or storm drain systems. It takes several weeks or even a month just to make one pipe. It's expensive, but durable. The pipes have a lifespan of more than 100 years. If you do it right with clay, you never have to replace it unless you have to upsize it. Clay, water, and fire. These are the ingredients that Charles Gladding and Peter McBean built their company on back in 1875. I have to copy every detail. But it's the people who work for Gladding McBean who keep this company moving forward in the future. And I, I'm proud to be part of a team who trying to save a past for the future generations. From the town of Clay and Fire, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road. Hey, thanks for watching and watch more videos just like this. Also, write in the comments where I should be checking out next.